another day, another racist NBA owner. So let's talk about this guy, Robert Sarver. He is going to have to pay up after an investigation by the NBA revealed him to be racist and misogynist. Surprise, surprise. Now, he repeatedly used the N-word, cursed and screamed at employees, and used unfair treatment, especially towards women employees. He got a one-year suspension for the NBA and the WNBA because he also earns, owns the Mercury team, but uh, he also has a $10 million fine. Now... Some people had comments on this. They was not happy about what he got. One of those people actually was JT. That he should be suspended forever. You don't do that. Like, and one year is like so short. She should do ESPN. I really like her uh, <laughs> her take on things. Another per- person that has something to say is Suns player, former Suns player Jamal Crawford. Now, he also played for the Clippers, which is funny because do you remember Donald Sterling? Yep. So Jamal Crawford took to his social media and he said, seen this movie before, Sterling 2.0. So he had a little gist of both players. So imagine the racism he encountered being a player on both of these teams. Now, uh, Donald Sterling was like eliminated period from the NBA. He had to sell the Clippers and that was just for saying the N-word. Do you think it's fair that this guy, Robert Sarver, only got one year suspension and a $10 million fine? Um, nah, I think it probably should have been a little bit more, you know, definite. Because it's one thing if you like, you know, you operating as a villain in one lane, right? But, you know, you over here like, you know, being racially insensitive, you harassing players, you harassing females. It doesn't sound like you're really conducive for the work environment over there. This shouldn't be allowed. He should have to go just like Donald Sterling had to go. Absolutely. You've seen other situations where people have kind of not operated in the best space and they've been kicked out of whatever position that there was and not allowed to go back. Because even giving $10 million to the NBA, where does that money really go? Does it go to, like, you know, benefit organizations that, you know, champion racial equality or equal rights in the workplace as it relates to, like, women and stuff like that? Nah. Like, it goes into their honeypot and they do whatever they do with it. You know what I mean? And not just that. $10 million is nothing to this billionaire. That's like a, you get what I'm saying? That's a regular bill for him. You gave him a vacation. We, We are the morning hustle.